Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to make a miniature note a flamethrower. I started by designing the parts in Fusion 360 using a reference image. First, we are going to make the internal parts of the flamethrower. Butane tank is made from a 5 ml syringe. Bottom of the propane tank is a small cap. From the tank, propane is transferred via a small tube to the valve taken from a lighter. From the valve, butane is passed through a small stainless steel tube and burned at the nozzle. Syringe body is cut to size and before closing, a hole is drilled on the top of the end cap to put a non-return valve. It's a similar valve used in the lighter. Valve is pressed into the end cap and filled with epoxy. Epoxy is mixed and degassed in a vacuum chamber. This process is not necessary. I am just doing it to try out my new vacuum chamber. 5 minute epoxy is used to fix the end cap to the tank and excess is trimmed using a drummer. Top of the syringe is filled with epoxy and rounded off so that the profile will match the propane tank. Now I am going to make the bend tube from the butane tank to the valve. Before bending, brass tube is annealed and filled with plastic so that it won't collapse while bending. Once it's bent, pipe is cut to size and plastic is burnt off. Valve housing has three main components. Valve taken from a lighter, a brass tube from a radio antenna and a small brass part machined from an electric connector. After assembling, flex and solder is applied to the part and heated to make a solder joint. 5 minute epoxy is used to fix the valve and the butane tank. Now I can fill the tank with butane and test for leaks. It worked on the first try, which is unusual. End of the stainless steel tube is flared to accept the valve. Now we can make the two brass parts for the nozzle. Main function of the nozzle is to mix the fuel and air by Venturi effect. Brass parts are machined using drill, dremel and few other hand tools. No epoxy is used to fix the parts near the nozzle. All the parts are either press fitted or screwed in place. Main body of the flamethrower is split into two parts and 3D printed in ABS. Now I am going to make the part which holds the propane tank. This part is also made from 5 ml syringe. One side of the part is made flat by heating it. Part is cut to shape and it is fixed on one half of the body. To print the logo, first it is mirrored and printed on a magazine paper.
To transfer the toner, first the part is cleaned and the print is positioned using masking tape. After ironing, the paper is peeled off and any residue is removed using water. Now all the parts are ready for painting. I am masking all the unwanted areas with a masking tape and followed by spray painting it with matte black. A small knob is added just for aesthetics. Also I made a trigger with high carbon steel. Now I can assemble all the parts. This part is to control the idle flow of the gas which I will explain soon. Piece of crystal from the lighter is also added for recognition. Now I can fill the tank with an extension tube. To light the flamethrower, first the idle screw is rotated so that it will push the trigger slightly releasing a small amount of gas. Now the piece of crystal can be pressed to light the gas. I'm decked up on blue bills and I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in a bag fill. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to say my piece, I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Let's talk a whole lot. No one damn way after a lot of testing, I found one problem. Once it reaches half tank, the flow rate will significantly reduce. This is because liquid butane is no longer available and evaporation is reduced due to the freezing temperatures of the tank. Easy solution for this would be to add a small tube to the bottom of the tank. On a full burst, flamethrower will last about 4 seconds. Thanks for watching the video. Please put your thoughts and new video ideas in the comment section. I will see you on the next video. Bye.